All right, everybody, welcome to Reading Thursdays. We've got Luna has a lot of allergies during the springtime, even though she's on medicine for it. So she's going to do a lot of itching. And we are going to read a book called Sometimes Love by Katrina Moore and Joy Ling Ruiz. Ruiz. <clears throat> And these guys are all ready to read. Yeah, we love reading times. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys are here. Luna. Oh, that's okay. Luna's gonna itch a lot. Okay. How pretty this. Oh, oops. <laughs> Let's read together. Wobbly ears, fuzz that's thick. Oh, what's in there, guys? Love is sometimes at first lick. And Luna's licking. <laughs> it's turning howls into a song. A snuggle lasting all night long. Do you have a dog? Do you ever sleep with your dog? I like to take naps with mine. A bounce, a pounce, a tail that wiggles. Love is grass that's rolled in giggles. Sliding, scratching through the halls. Love will sometimes break through walls. Clinging close in barrel hugs, loading laundry, cleaning rugs. Love is firm, love can bend. Love knows how to be a friend. Soft like whispers, sitting still, panting picks up speed until. Salty tears, sugar licks, Weeping, wailing, throwing sticks. Soft yet strong like hummingbirds, love requires little words. Let's look at what's happening in this picture. Pulling tight, barking no, but sometimes love. This says pet care for serving soldiers. So I think my mom is a soldier, right? And the puppy is sad. Is letting go. Can you guys figure out what happened in this story? It's a little bit sad, but it isn't too sad. I promise it gets better. It's being brave when you feel shy. It's starting small and saying hi. Have you guys ever moved before? It's healing hurt by making art. That really works, guys. And holding paws inside your heart, ready for a brand new start. Look at her being brave and meeting new friends. Changes come. And changes go.
love, love through changes makes love grow. Look how beautiful these cherry blossoms are. So sometimes our friends move too. Sometimes it's not just us, right? Palms press tightly to the glass, counting minutes as they pass. So she's in an airplane again. Look how pretty that is. And look where we are. Pet care for serving soldiers. So we're back, right, Lou? You getting your bed comfortable? Look how much this picture matches the blanket. <laughs> Sometimes love is coming home. Where love has stayed, where love has grown. Look, that puppy grew up. Oh, man. And she grew up, but she came back. So let's read about this book a little bit more to understand it, guys. Dear reader, years ago my family moved and we had to leave behind our beloved dog, Stella. It broke my heart, but because of her needs and because of our quick and uncertain circumstances, we knew that letting her go, letting her be with a trusted family who could give her what she needed was the best way that we could love her. Though we had to let her go, the love I feel for her has stayed. It stays with me every day. So many other families face this tough situation too, especially military families. I recently learned about amazing organizations such as Dogs on Deployment who are nonprofit organizations dedicated to finding volunteer long-term in-home boarding to pets whose families must be away during a military commitment. When the family is ready, they are reunited with their pets. How I would have loved to know about an organization like this when I had to make that tough decision. Learn more about this life-changing group here, dogsondeployment.org. And remember, reader, that changes come and changes go. Love through changes makes love grow. Love, Katrina. I know, Lou. This was kind of a sad book, huh? And it was hard and you didn't like that part when she left her dog? Sometimes people move, though, and that's what they have to do. You're still sad? Well, we still get to feel sad, and that's okay. And thank goodness that now there are organizations that can help people take care of their dog and then give their dog back to them. That's really lovely. And I just think, even though this book is hard to read and sad to think about letting go of a family pet, that it's way more hopeful and helpful to know about those organizations also, like, maybe you could be that for someone's family so that a little girl could come back and see her, see her dog again. Okay, Lou, come here. What did you think of this book? Should we give it some high fives? Okay, how many high fives do we think Lou will give it if she doesn't fall down? High five, Lou. Oh, two high fives. Even though it was hard and you cried, you still liked it, Lou? Do you have a little bit of tears on your eyes? That's okay. All right, Kevin, high five. Oh, Kevin says high five because she likes that, that someone could get their dog back again. That's really happy. Yeah. See, happy tails. And Bishop says he will take one bed from everyone while they left. Mwahaha. And that's what he says about it. Oops, Luna found the bed again. <laughs> well, it's definitely camp out and read story time. Aw. These guys, they love story time. They're ready for another one. Should we do another one? All right, next week we'll do another one. Have a great Thursday, guys. <laughs> what in the happy tail? What in the happy tail? Oh my goodness, what a bunch of wiggles. Dogs are the best. <laughs>